we need to talk are four of the quite possibly most frightening, daunting words that you could ever hear one human being say to another. But that's exactly what needs to happen today. Now, fortunately, I am not leaving you guys. I'm not leaving YouTube anytime soon, but I am leaving something. I'm actually leaving two somethings. Now, the first something I mentioned in my video yesterday is that I am moving in July from my apartment here, and I'm moving down into Anaheim, closer towards Disneyland, so that I'm not commuting 25 minutes to 30 minutes each day for work. Additionally, I've also decided to leave grad school. And saying it out loud gives me chills because education has been the only thing that I've ever known and doing something new, doing something you've never done before, it's scary and it's frightening and it's venturing off into an unknown place that you've never been to. But the wonderful thing about the journey is that you get to choose where you're going to go and you get to choose how the path is laid out. And sometimes you kind of just have to follow the trails and see where they lead, but at some point you have to be able to make the decision to leave that trail if it's not going where you want it to go. I decided some time ago that I was probably going to be leaving, but I wanted to pray about it more and I wanted to think about it and I really wanted to decide if this was the best decision because leaving education is not something that you do. Definitely Maybe is probably my favorite movie on this planet and I watch it every once in a while and it teaches me something different each and every time that I watch it. And there's a part in the movie where April's character is talking about how she was on the beach and she was with this guy Paco and Paco is the dream guy he's got the beautiful hair and the face and the body and everything that you want in a guy or everything you think you would want in a guy he's the one that everybody wants but he chose her and his hands are all over her and she, he's about to kiss her and she knows that it's not the right thing to do and she gets up and she walks away and you don't walk away from Paco and I feel the same way about education and April taught me something in those few seconds that when you have something that you think you want, something that is so utterly perfect, you don't walk away from that. You just don't do that. And maybe walking away is the best thing to do. And at this point in my life, I've decided that I'm going to leave and I'm going to pursue my original dream of writing more books because that's something that I have left out of my life and it's something that inspires me, it's something that gets me excited and I feel like if I'm going to be a therapist and if I'm having the thoughts that I already have now that I'm not going to be okay at this, that it's not what I really want to do, that the people that I'm going to be helping I'm not really going to be helping based off the nature of what I have to do. I feel like I'm not going to be a good service to my clients and to anybody who's looking for help. And so while it's a big decision, I think it's the best for me. And I think that overall it's going to lead me exactly where I want to be. And I'm going to pursue my dream. And my dream is to write books. And I, I understand that it may not be the career that being a counselor could be, but I honestly feel like it's better for me to do something that I love and that I'm passionate about than to do something that makes good money and be in something that I'm not really into. And I know that there are tons of people who have a great calling for psychology and who would be so good at being a therapist. I'm just not sure it's going to be me anymore. And there are parts of me that are a little bit upset, but at the same time I think it's going to be the best for me. And I hope that you all continue to support me. And I hope that you guys are all having a great day. And um, that's the end for today. Peace out. Signos. And I feel like there are so many bigger and better things that God has for me that maybe this isn't the right field for me. And while I do have a heart for people and I want to be able to help, maybe this isn't the way to do it.